Before we talk about uh, policy templates, let's see how they can be very useful to automate and simplify the deployment of service nodes. In general, due to the high volume of traffic inside a modern fabric, a layer 4, layer 7 service node, when deployed in a bump in a wire fashion, may become quickly the bottleneck. Otherwise, you need to deploy a large farm of service nodes to digest all the data packets. Nevertheless, a more efficient way is to filter, select, and redirect only the traffic of interest toward the service node. NDFC embeds several options to attach and automatically deploy a service node and the policy you wish to apply with that particular service node. Different scenarios are possible, such as these first options with uh, selective traffic redirections with uh, a tenant or VRF using PBR. Inside a tenant, the traffic is routed by the VXLAN VPN IRB function, so you need a mechanism to select and redirect only the concerned traffic toward the firewall. And that's why we need PBR for intratenant redirections. One arm or two arms models deployments are supported. The other option is with the service node deployed as the layer 3 next hop for the tenant edge firewall, securing the intertenant traffic communications. This means that you secure the routed traffic between two tenants, between two VRF via an external firewall. You can also leverage NDFC to deploy an SLB device, uh, either using a one arm design or two arm design. In short, with NDFC, you simplify and automate the insertion of one or multiple layer 4, layer 7 service nodes inside your VXLAN eVPN fabric. Configurations involving intratenant and intertenant firewall for layer 3 networks, virtual network functions, and load balancer are supported. Now let's focus uh, on the intratenant deployment using PBR for that demo. A slight clarification, the layer 4, layer 7 service in the Nexus dashboard fabric controller does not manage or provision the uh, service node per se, such as the firewall or the load balancer. You still need to do uh, the configuration on your service node using your preferred tools. The layer 4, layer 7 service feature is supported only on the data center VXLAN VPN fabric or with the Easy Fabric template before NDFC release uh, 12.1.2e. This feature supports Cisco Nexus 9300EX or FX switches with uh, different roles uh, as a leaf node, border leaf node, border spine, border super spine, and even border gateway switches. The layer 4, layer 7 service uh, REST APIs are also accessible via the NDFC uh, package REST API documentations. And this service generates uh, Kafka notifications for real time interactions. Currently, creating service node consists of two or three main steps. First, you need to attach the service node to the fabric. You specify on which leaf node or VPC pair device your firewall or SLB device is attached to, and on which interface it is connected to, and the VLAN you wish to use in the trunk to reach the inside and outside interfaces of the service node. The external fabric is the fabric where the service node resides, all devices that NDFC operates require to belong to a particular fabric. Then you need to specify the route peering. That means how to route to and from the network service. And because it's a stateful device, you need to take care of how the return traffic is routed toward the same service node. And lastly, you define the service policy to specify traffic redirection rules to and from the service node. In other words, select and redirect the data packets from a source network A to a destination network B using port XYZ. The tenant edge firewalling does not need layer 4, layer 7 service policy. You only need to create a service node and root peering for intertenant firewalling. Let's talk about the demo. 
For the next demo, a virtual firewall is hosted by a server single attached to leaf node 3 using a .1Q trunk. We have two data networks, red and blue, and both belongs to tenant 1. And we have a couple of endpoints from uh, each network distributed between leaf 3 and leaf 4. The demo consists of showing that before we deploy the service node policy, the reachability exists between network blue and network red. As you know, for intratenant layer 3 connectivity, the integrated routing and bridging functions, IRB, offers the required routing to communicate between different overlay networks. You first need to enable the feature PBR. This is mandatory for intratenant redirections. In this demo, we are showing the deployment of a virtual firewall using two arms. Then you create an external fabric to host the service node. This service node will be onboarded automatically by NDFC. And finally, you run the deployment of the service node, which consists of the three key stages. Firstly, you need to attach uh, the service node to the leaf node that belongs to the VXLAN VPN fabric. Secondly, it is required to provision the route to reach that service node. And lastly, you need to create the policy service to select uh, the traffic of interest to be redirected to the firewall and you specify the source, the destination, and the port you want to redirect to the service node. So the first thing you want to do is to create a new fabric for the service. So go to the fabric menu. From the actions to create fabric, give a name, select uh, your template, select the external fabric, Give the IS number and check the monitor mode to manage your fabric. And that's it. And do save. The next action is to enable the PBR feature. So go to Actions, Edit Fabric. From there, go to the Advanced tab, go down a bit. And you will find the Enable Policy-Based Routing, PBR, select it. And uh, from the resources, if you want, you can uh, see the um, VLAN range used for the service node deployment. You can save now. And the next step is to recalculate and deploy the configuration. which is basically enabling the feature PBR. Close and deploy. Done. So now what we want is to attach uh, the firewall into uh, the leaf number three. So go to service tab. So we go to actions, we do add, we create our service, so we give a name, service uh, node firewall one. Select which type of uh, node you want to deploy. So you can deploy the firewall, load balancer, or virtual network functions. The firewall is uh, physical or virtual. In our case, it is virtual. Now we want to select the uh, fabric used for the service node, which is basically the um, service node BFL and uh, provide the interface used on the service node itself. Then you select the fabric, so we will use the fabric number two. We select the switch, so it's on the switch number three. And we select the interface, which is interface 18. This done, the rest you can keep it by default, right? The advantage is if you want to use some uh, freeform templates here. You do a save. And now you configure the root peering. So the first thing is to attach the root peering. You give a name. So peering firewall one. Deployment type could be intratenant or intertenant. So we want to use intratenant. Select uh, the VRF, the network type, inside network, so inside 
net, for example, and we create the inside net. We can use the VLAN proposed by NDFC, or you can use your own VLANs. We will use our own VLANs because it's already deployed through uh, the vCenter. So use the VLAN 12. We give the default gateway. We can give a name for the VLANs. So inside VLANs toward the web endpoint. So 192.168.12.101, which is the IP address of the inside interfaces of the firewall. And you do the same thing for the outside. So select outside network. You create this uh, network service. Same thing. You use uh, your own uh, VLAN or you can use the proposed VLANs, the default gateway of this network, which is uh, 254 slash 24. You give a name um, for the VLANs and you provide a descriptions for the app endpoints. And then finally, you give the IP address of the uh, firewalls for this interface. That's it. Now you need to create your service policy. So attach the service policy, give a name, service policy firewall one. You, you specify the peering, so there is only one peering as of now. Uh, the tenant, the VRF name. So you select uh, the source. So here we want anything coming from the web talking to the application 11.101, which is uh, my uh, next hop, my firewalls interfaces. Right, and specify the reverse uh, next hop, which is on the other side, the other interfaces for the return traffic. So this is your protocol filter, source and destination. You can keep by default, or you can change the parameters you want based on your requirements. And you can modify the route map actions or the behavior of your rule based on the status of the next hop, uh, the firewall in our case. And you save. And that's it. So we have now our service node descriptions here. You can select the service node of choice and see the status of the root peering as well as the service policy associated to this uh, service node. Both uh, root peering and service policy are not in sync because you can expand these windows to look further at the services. Select the root peering. So this is the root peering we just created. Now we can select this root pairing. We can edit or we can preview the configurations and we can deploy. Before we deploy, we just go to this node. So what we have here is an endpoint 100.4 doing a layer two test with uh, 100.66 and uh, a layer three routed traffic to 101.6. So what we want to do is to reroute the traffic from the web to the application toward the firewall. So basically the windows on the bottom side should stop working. So let's return to our configuration and do a deploy configurations. And the deploy is done. So now what we need to check is the status until the full configuration is done, All right? So we can refresh here. It is in progress. In the meantime, we can go to the service policy, select the service policy. And as we can do for the root peering, you can preview the configurations. So basically you select um, the network. For example, you want to check the web tenant and you select for the leaf number three and you will see the configurations pushed to the device. Okay. Let's push the configurations of the service policy and it's done. So the traffic has been um, stopped. So go to the firewall, enable config T and enable the access group. And now we should see the traffic back. So meaning that the traffic is well rerouted through the service node.